What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the Roddy Rowdy Piper WWE Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars Walmart exclusive figure. That was a lot. I, that was in one take, too. That's pretty damn good. Been doing this a while, you know? But this is a figure I've been waiting on, man, and this figure I call the Toy Biz Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper. I remember buying this from Family Dollar back in the day, man, when I was a Wii child. Yes, I was a Wii child. I was made on the Nintendo Wii. But this figure looks phenomenal. I'm very excited for this. We've been waiting on this one for a while. I think we saw this back at San Diego Comic-Con in 2021. Which feels like yesterday, and now we're only like three or four months away from Comic Con again, which makes me want to physically vomit. But here's Roddy Piper, man. We got some good stuff going on. This is our second iteration of Roddy Piper in Ultimate Edition form, which is cool. But here's the red packaging. It is a store exclusive, so it is going to have the red border with white accents. And then if it were in the main line, it would have white box with red accents. But what's cool about this is it does have the WCW logo, and it even has the date on there that says Nitro, April 28th, 1997. And then we have a shot of Roddy Piper there on the side, and then on the back, we do have a shot of Roddy Piper there and there and I guess the damn family dollar must have been hoarding these because if this was from 90 if this look was from 97 specifically so if this look was from 97 I mean that family dollar had to have that figure in like 2000 2001 or something like that so I don't know if that's accurate or maybe if anybody collected back then or you remember that specific time frame maybe you can give me a better idea but what we're gonna do is of course crack Roddy Piper out of the packaging find out what it's all about but I love that Roddy Piper as a kid and the leather jacket that came with it was great I love the bagpipe man what a time to be alive but nonetheless, man, we're going to crack Roddy Piper out of the accessories. We're not going to crack him out of the accessories. I mean, I guess we are, but we're, we're going to shut the hell up and continue with a review now, man. But what we're going to do is go ahead and take Roddy Piper out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and see how this Roddy Piper compares to the rest of our WWE action figure collections. So here's our Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars Rowdy Roddy Piper figure out of the packaging. I'm really enjoying it, man. I mean, again, I was much more looking forward to this figure compared to the Bret Hart figure. I think it's a much better execution. And for me personally, I'm going to be keeping the reality check shirt on it because that's how I remember the Toy Biz. I think the Toy Biz figure did have the reality check shirt, so that's just, you know, I want to keep it one of one. That's what I relate it to, so I'm going to do that. But the Icon shirt is also cool, but we're going to take a look at all the accessories. We're going to break down all of the lore of the Roddy Piper Ultimate Edition figure here, man. But I I'm enjoying this figure so far. I'm really enjoying it. I really loved his first go round. I thought it was, I think it crapped the, it, it crapped, it crapped the top 10. I think it did crack the top 10 of my top 10 Ultimate Editions from last year. I think it was at number 10, if I'm not mistaken, from 2023. Will this crack my top 10 of this year? We shall find out maybe by the end of the review. We'll have to see. And we don't know what other Ultimates are coming this year. I mean, we do know a great deal of them, but you know, execution and details and all those things are going to absolutely play a role. But after all is said and done, man, let's get into the accessories of Roddy Piper and then we'll will break down the figure itself. So getting into Roddy Piper's accessories, we get the standard amount for an Ultimate Edition outside of a championship mainly, but we get a lot of cloth goods, we get the interchangeable arms, we get interchangeable heads, I think this is standard for sure. And getting into the head sculpts first, we do have this kind of straight face, and I think the eyes are a little too open, but I love the likeness. I think it definitely looks just like Roddy Piper if he were just chilling there, and I think they did a good job here, man. I like this. I feel like the damn right ear is way bigger than the left. Am I, am I tripping? Still looks good, though. I like the sculpt and the hair and everything. Facial hair looks good. I like this a lot. Very good first head sculpt right here. Never Actually, this figure includes three brand new head sculpts. And then you got him yelling here, man. I love a good yelling head sculpt. If it actually looks like he's yelling, he actually looks looks like he's yelling so that's good you know sometimes it just looks like his mouth's open that happens a lot with Mattel nowadays this looks like he's actually yelling and there's a lot of good details in there the eyes look detailed the mouth looks detailed the facial hair very good head sculpt here I like this a lot and then we have this last head sculpt which is going to be the smiling head sculpt and I gotta say he looks I don't know man he looks crazy but I like the gum painted detail but my eyes may be a little bit misprinted there but uh, I don't know at certain angles it looks all right but right there it looks like his eyes stretching out but I don't know not bad a little wide-eyed head sculpt I I don't know, but the, the screaming expression is probably my favorite, but I like all three head sculpts. This one's just a little bit misprinted, but I don't think I was going to use it anyway. God, I feel like he's looking in my soul. Now, it does come with two different shirts here that are non-Velcro. It's the Re Reality Check shirt, which actually came originally on that Toy Biz Roddy Piper figure, and it was a short sleeve. came with a bagpipe and all that. And you get two different shirts here. You have the Icon shirt and the Reality Check. And personally, for me, I like the Reality Check shirt better. However, you do get two options here, so you guys can let me know which one you like better, but they are sleeveless and 
the reason they're sleeveless is so you can put it on and then you can put the leather jacket over it. And we'll showcase that in just a moment. But you do get two Velcroless shirts similar to what we saw with KO and some other figures this year. But this is very nice, man. I mean, I dreamed of these days we'd get Velcroless shirts. Another cloth goods bit you get is the Velcro skirt or kilt here, which is very nice because it has that, you know, tablecloth or that picnic style tablecloth pattern on it, which looks really good. It does have Velcro on it. It's got the straps there, which I like. And another thing you can pair with this, if you wrap it around the waist, is you do have this belt, which we saw on the first Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper figure, that you can wrap around, and it just imports right there, which is very nice. So it looks like he's wearing a belt, and you can wrap that around to keep that onto the figure. I don't really care for this belt mold, to be honest, but it's better than others, I'd say. I think it's accurate, and it looks good, so it's not my favorite, but at least it has the belt loop and all that stuff. So you do get his kilt. No bagpipe. I would have loved to seen a bagpipe in here, but we'll just take what we can get. But other accessories you get are interchangeable arms. So you have the bare arms with the white wrist tape for his wrestling attire, and then you have his jacket arms right here. So you have the leather jacket sculpted arms, which are pinless, which are great. I think we are seeing these on the Eric Bischoff Ultimate Edition. And then you have the leather jacket vest style deal that has some good details, man. I like the zippers and everything. Very 90s-esque with the strap and belt coming off. I like a lot. And if you were going to put this onto the figure, you'd simply wrap it over this and then plug your arms in. So you just take it, shove that into the shoulder right there, and then take this side and shove it into the shoulder here. And then bam, now you got shirtless jacket. I mean, you could do it. You could make an Ultimate Edition Finn Balor using this. Don't give me ideas. And then if you want them in your wrestling gear, you'd obviously pop this out and shove in the blank arms for wrestling. So there's that. And then... If you want to put the shirt on, you remove the arms, remove the jacket piece, and then you could slide this over, and then he will have the... You, you, you saw it at the beginning. You saw it in the beginning. The shirt goes over this, and then the leather jacket goes over it, and then it looks like he's wearing a t-shirt under his leather jacket. But for interchangeable hands, you do get the Randy Orton or Paul Bearer style entrance hands. You get the fist to beat the hell out of people, and then you get the mic holding or weapon wielding hands to beat the hell out of people, or get on the microphone and tell people to shut the hell up. So getting into Roddy Piper, starting out with the head sculpt, I like it. I like this. We just touched on it in the accessories. I like this a lot, and I know he's not dressed up in all his gear, but we can get into that later on in the comparison shot. I'll dress him up. Compare. I'll compare him without the stuff on, and then I'll compare him with the stuff on, but this looks good, man. I, I don't really know how you could ask for anything more. Now, when I think of him with the older look, I think of him in promo gear. I don't think of him wrestling at this stage age with this haircut. I know he did do matches here and there, but for the most part, I think of this as a older figure in his, you know, later in his career style of Roddy Piper. Even if this is specifically from that 97 look, this is just kind of what I, when I look at him like this, this that's just what comes to mind. But we do have the Roddy Piper torso, which I think works pretty good for him. I think it looks solid. I think the arms could be a little bit bigger. Guys like this and Austin, I feel like Roddy Piper and Stone Cold have the exact same build. Austin was probably a little bit bigger, but for the most part, I could see them using the same torso torsos together, but I think his arms could be a little bit bigger for Roddy Piper, but I don't mind the standard look here. It doesn't bother me that much, but he's got white wrist tape, blue trunks in there, which are synonymous with Roddy Piper. He's got the blue knee pads, of course. He has his socks in there, and then he does have the charcoal gray or dark black boots with the RP in gold on the boots there, which I like a lot. Now, he doesn't have the standard red, but I do believe these were accurate for the time. But I do enjoy this figure. Like I said, I really enjoy Roddy Piper. I've always liked his character and the passion that he brought to wrestling in general. And just uh, such a, I don't know, just a special guy, I think. So I'm, I'm very happy to have this Roddy Piper. I think he's awesome. And sometimes, you know, I think somebody doing like a classic fed, if I were to have a classic fed nowadays, I think Roddy Piper would be like one of the top guys that I would like to push. He's just awesome. I don't know. I, I like Roddy Piper a lot. But this is a great figure. I'm really enjoying this. He does have the drop-down hips, and the kickboard is, is pretty good here. You get about 90 degrees, which is solid. You know, he was always doing a lot of super kicks back in the day and 450 splashes, so it is good to get that super kick articulation. Look at that gap right there. That shish is ugly. You just want to be, anytime you're posing your figures around, man, be very careful. You never know when they could snap on you, you know? Kind of like a narcissist. But the this is just good. This is good stuff. I'm really enjoying this. But let's get into some Roddy Roddy Piper figure comparisons and take a look at some different Mattel Roddy Pipers up next to our brand new Monday Night Wars Walmart exclusive Ultimate Edition. Now for our comparisons, I was going to use the John Nada, but I think this is a better comparison and you could bring the John Nada figure in, of course, but we have our Legends Elite Roddy Piper, the Coliseum Collection Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper. Wish I would have grabbed an extra. I want to say they were at WrestleMania at the Superstore. I should have absolutely grabbed an extra set. They're still available. I just would like to have another set because I'd like to have him in the wrestling gear with this head sculpt yelling and then you have the older one here in the middle 
title, of course. And then you do have a Elite. I think this is the old Legends or Hall of Fame Elite Roddy Piper here with a head swap. I put one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts on it from the Coliseum Collection. And then we have that WrestleMania Elite Boxing 2-pack Elite figure that came with Mr. T over here, which is also a really underrated piece. Mixing it in here, I still like the way this one looks up next to the rest, but I will say I do think that I prefer the Coliseum Collection next to this one just because I think this is classic Roddy Piper. But I will say you could switch this skirt out and maybe switch this shirt out for some of our other Mattel shirts and you could probably make a more classic or definitive version of Roddy Piper if you want to use that Coliseum Collection. That may be something I look into, but let's put him in the garb and we'll see what he looks like up next to the rest of these figures in his garb. I don't know why, but he looks dumb as hell with the kilt. I don't think it, I don't think I have it high enough or something. He's like way too low, man. Looks like he's, I, I don't know what the hell he's looking like, but there he is with all the comparisons with all of the gear on there. I tried pulling it up, but I, I think it's because I put the jacket on first, but I don't know. Anyway, you get the point, man. He looks good. I like him better like this in, than in the wrestling gear, and then on this one, I still prefer him in the garb, but you know, if I'm going to do a wrestling gear Roddy Piper, I'm going to go with the Coliseum Collection, or I'm going to buy this and do some fix-up swaps or something, but there's your comparisons of Roddy Piper. But I think that about wraps up our Roddy Rowdy Piper Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars Walmart exclusive figure review. I really enjoy this figure overall. I think it is a fun piece. Again, coming in, I was looking forward to it. I like the shade of blue on the trunks. I do believe it is the exact same blue as the other one, though, but I like that shade of blue. The shade of blue is very clean, and again, it is very nostalgic hitting for me because of that Toy Biz figure like I've talked about in this review, but I like the head sculpts. I like the likeness. I think that the leather jacket is really cool. I know that we're getting that leather jacket on a bunch of different Ultimates this year, but I think it's cool because you can actually use it on a lot of different guys, right? So that's pretty cool as well, but that leather jacket I think is awesome. I think that the different shirt options is awesome, and you get the wrestling gear, so I think that's also cool. A lot of cool pieces here, and I can't, I guess, definitively say this is much better than the Bret Hart Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars figure out of this same set because I haven't reviewed that, and I don't think that would fair. After Bret Hart's review, we can say, you know, when we compare those two in that video, so be sure to watch the Bret Hart Ultimate Edition review so we can compare the two, and then I can make my judgment and final say on which figure I think is best out of the set. But this figure is badass. I like it a lot, but I've always enjoyed Roddy Piper. While I didn't actually grow, I, I obviously have seen him from time to time. I've obviously seen him from time to time on television and interact in different storylines throughout my wrestling lifetime, but going back and watching him in his exact prime and seeing all the work that he did, he was always very fun to watch in that light, and I don't know, I just thought he was always so passionate and so good at what he did, so Roddy Piper, what a legend. But at the end of the day, I recommend this figure, especially if you're a Roddy Piper guy, you like this, it's damn good, it's damn good, and I know it's not for everybody, but this is still a beautiful piece, and I think this is a great selection for our wrestling action figure collection, so shout out to Mattel, but if you guys want to grab this, it is Walmart exclusive, man, this is Walmart exclusive, and it is hitting right now. And if my Walmart has it, yours probably has already had it for a while. Not precisely, but I would check your Walmarts, man. Definitely check your Walmarts. I think there's two or three in a case. And I think they are going to do a full restock of Monday Night Wars very soon. So you'll just have to be on the lookout for that, man. But that is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know where you stand on this figure down in the comment section below. Did you own that Toy Biz back in the day? Do you even know what the hell I'm talking about? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Man, thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. You guys are absolute beasts. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you later.